This is John. I'm at the Emerald House Sluice Way today, and um, I went through two buckets. And uh, they were buckets that I've had for a little while, and not as productive as that tabby bucket. But uh, I still got some good stuff. Let me show you. There's some bigger pieces. Now this was the stuff that I was finding right before I got into the good crystals. You can see that it started to develop. The quartz started getting clear, started getting faced. And you can find a floater crystal in there or two. The big chunks of quartz. There's a crystal there. You can see a lot of facing in there. It was dry. There's another thing. See, it's getting very clear right through there. And then you got a few points hiding down in there. All right. Just hit a little bit of mica. Mica and quartz. And some more mica. And then we get into the quartz where it's starting to switch over from just blocks of quartz and it starts showing faces. This is where I knew I was getting close to, to crystals, which we've already went through those. Um, right here, I believe that is just a coating of iron. And... You can see here's a lot of crystal wannabes, and every now and then I, I get a complete crystal, or almost complete. So it continued to get better, more facing. Here I got a little bit of uh, tourmaline, always like that, but there wasn't much of that. And all of these are pieces of quartz that came close to becoming whole crystals but just didn't have enough um, to finish the job. This point here is pretty decent. Yeah, that one's not bad at all. This one has root tail in it, right? I'm get the camera steady. There's a piece here down inside. I'm not sure if you'd be able to see it. It's getting kind of dark out. And then right there, looks like a bird footprint. Here's a these down here, they're smaller, but some of them actually did turn into crystals. A reverse scepter. Another one with a piece of root tail in it. Those two are really nice. Now I got just a little bit of root tail. Not a whole lot. Nothing to brag about. And let me move this and we'll get into our top three. And number three is this is some smoky, but what I really liked about was this feldspar. Moonstone like feldspar. So if there was more light, I could, I'd be able to. Show you the luster in this. I don't even think. But in dark light, there's not much to it. Alright, that's number three. Number two is another piece that tried to crystallize, but it didn't quite finish the job. But because of the root tail, and there's a fair amount in there. Right there is one of them. It's half 
in and half out of the quartz. The other pieces are kind of just laying on top of the quartz. Neat stuff. And then, last but not least, is this piece of quartz. Had some facing, but in some areas it did finish the job. And where it finished the job, the crystals are just crystal clear. I mean, there, there's a hint of purple to them, but the secondary growth on that is magnificent. So, that is number one. Alright, and that'll do it for now. This was two buckets, most of them, yeah, they're older buckets, probably uh, in the springtime. But this stuff I was finding right before I started finding all those really nice crystals. That was the telltale sign I was onto something bigger and better. Alright, that's it for now.